All right, guys, so we got to talk about a pretty epic fact check that was issued by Elon Musk's community notes feature against this MSNBC host, Mr. Mehdi Hussan, who is upset and crying racism against Bill Maher because Bill Maher simply stated facts and asked questions about why is nobody, including black celebrities, speaking up about black on black crime, okay? That is an epidemic that is happening in this country that the mainstream liberal media and the race hustlers really don't want to talk about it. they don't want to speak about it but in the same breath they want to tell you that they care about black lives so much now again because apparently in 2023 facts and asking these types of questions is, is hate speech uh soft on crime policies uh like you know bail reform and stuff like that is it, happening because locking up black folks is racist uh bill maher is being deemed a racist for simply asking questions right and stating facts again it's a damn shame so again msnbc and the liberal powers that be uh have uh tagged Mehdi hassan to go out to bill maher and to call him racist and like i said elon musk's community notes um feature uh is going to issue an epic fact check on this guy who's basically trying to deny the um epidemic that is black on black crime in this country so without further ado let's go ahead and just roll this clip as a muslim i have fond memories of bill maher lecturing muslims at the height of the al-qaeda and isis threats on the need for my community to condemn terrorism and speak out against the extremism in our midst as if many of us muslims weren't already doing that and as if muslims were uniquely violent well maher is doing the same lazy offensive routine shootings are young black men killing other young black men is that not correct yeah, that's correct. Okay, much more than, than what the cops do. Why doesn't anybody talk about that? Well, I mean, uh, why aren't there, uh, you know, a uh, 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 hundred giant black celebrities who would have the respect of those people saying, what are you doing to yourselves? Why are you killing each other? This I mean, is I no just... way to live. This dishonors our community. Come on, uh, we're better than this. Right. I feel like it's never addressed. How many racist tropes can you fit into one Bill Maher clip? First off, Chicago? Really? I mean, it's the predictable go-to criminal dystopia for right-wingers, but that's not the reality. Chicago isn't even in the top 10 or top 20 deadliest cities in America. It ranks below cities in red states like Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Columbus, Georgia. And yet Chicago, with its majority-minority population and its progressive black mayor-elect, is the place that people like Bill Maher always want to talk about and fearmonger about. Wonder why. Second, the whole black people killing other black people, black on black crime. Are you kidding me? White people kill other white people at almost the same rate that black people kill other black people. And yet you never hear anyone complaining on TV about white on white crime. So these aren't points of sage wisdom from Ma. They're classic racist dog whistles. Finally, there's Ma's canard why don't prominent black people speak out against black violence like, say, Marr and his guest, the black conservative economist and podcaster Glenn Lowry? I feel like it's never addressed, he says in that clip. Well, aside from the typical double standards, aside from the why don't white leaders speak out against white child sex offenders or white serial killers or white domestic terrorists, it's demonstrably and offensively wrong to suggest that black public figures aren't trying to tackle or condemn gun violence. Many have done so here on this show. I mean, does Bill Maher not know any black leaders? If he wants to hear from a black public figure about black violence, quote unquote, why doesn't he, I don't know, ask them? Maybe it's because he can just ask Glenn Lowry, who will tell Ma what he wants to hear. Does Ma even have access to Google, I wonder? Because black leaders have been speaking out and organizing against gun violence in their communities for years. Again, and again, and again, and again. As journalist Michael Harriet said in a Twitter thread responding to the HBO host, when black people are doing something, I never see Bill Maher there. Fox News never shows up at the Stop the Violence March. He's right. That Bill Maher thinks black people aren't addressing gun violence in their communities tells you much more about Bill Maher than it tells you about black people. Yeah, so we have a classic example here of the mainstream liberal media using extremely weak arguments <laughs> in order to try to deflect from a problem that everybody knows is a problem because again 
facts are hate speech, okay? Facts are hateful, facts are racist, okay? So therefore, they must be refuted with narratives, okay? Like the narrative that, you know, hey, black on black crime is not an issue or black on black violence is not an issue because whites kill white people at the same rate blacks kill black people. Well, no, <laughs> duh. Uh, everybody knows that you're likely uh, to have a crime committed against you or to be murdered by somebody that looks like you from a racial perspective. Everybody knows that that's a thing, okay? Nobody's disputing that. However, <laughs> what people are disputing is the fact that according to the FBI and Elon Musk's community notes here, uh, in 2019... Uh, FBI stats show that 2,594 white on white homicides and 2,574 black on black homicides. In 2019, the white population in the U.S. was 60.1% of the total population. Black was 12.2%. Thus, the per capita murder rate was much higher in the black on black group. Now, Mehdi Hassan didn't like this, right? So he took to Twitter to complain about Elon Musk is new community community notes slapping this fact check on him, right? He said, if you had any doubt that community notes has become another weapon of the right on Musk's Twitter, see the BS community note added to my Bill Maher clip after MAGA folks demanded it. It makes a point that is irrelevant to the one I am making, quote, intraracial rates of killing. <laughs> It's so hilarious. So hilarious because these people support liberal fact checks, right? Progressive fact checks are totally fine with that. They demand that actually, okay? But when they get hit with something that they demand it, when they get a taste of their own medicine, when the pendulum swings the other way, they want to cry foul. And then community notes hit them with another fact check, right? Said community notes doesn't work by majority rules. To identify notes that are helpful to a wide range of people, notes require agreement between contributors who have sometimes disagree in their past ratings. This helps prevent one-sided ratings. <laughs> Again, facts hurt, bro. He cried about facts. Stunt. If also on top of that, you know, the cities that he named, I think he said Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Columbus, Georgia, uh, where he talked about the crime rate uh, being higher than Chicago. Uh, guess what? <laughs> Those cities disproportionately have more black people in them uh than the rest of the country okay they either disproportionately have more black people or they outright have more black people okay they again so i'm just saying those are not the cities that i would have picked to push this narrative uh that black on black crime is some type of myth and that bill Maher is racist for pointing this out right because it seems to me that the cities that he picked that are worse than chicago uh again they tend to be more disproportionately represented by by black folks wouldn't have picked those cities, right? Furthermore, let's take a look at the breakdown, okay, of crime and, and who commits the crime, right, versus the population here. Uh, here's a racialized breakdown of murder and non-negligent uh, manslaughter arrest, courtesy of the FBI. 3,650 white, 45.8% of the distribution. 4,078 black or African American, 51.2%. 125 uh, American Indian or Alaska Native, 1.6%. Uh, 83 Asian 1% and 28 Native Hawaiian or other specific Islander 0.4% in uh, 2019. 54.7% uh, of homicide victims got racialized as black. Statista reports that the total number of homicide victims in 2020 was uh, 17,754. Here is the racialized and ethnicized breakdown. 7,000 uh, 29 white 39 percent of the distribution 9913 black 55 percent 497 other race three uh, 315 unknown race 2847 hispanic or latino 11357 not hispanic or latino and 1985 unknown ethnicity so i want you guys to understand black people right or 13 percent of the population however uh, they're about 55% of the homicide victims and commit 51.2% of the murders, right? And we can go even further here, right? We can not necessarily even just look at murders, right? We can just look at violent crimes in general, okay? Specifically, this table right here is from 2018. It is from the uh, Bureau of Justice Statistics, Race and Ethnicity of Violent Crime Offenders and Arrestees, 2018, regarding assault robbery aggravated assault okay so let, let's uh let, let, let's 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 take a look 
Okay, uh, and then we can go ahead and, and take a look at the conclusions here, <laughs> right? Uh, blacks, uh, which here uh, means non-Hispanic blacks, were 12.5% of the U.S. population and non-Hispanic whites were 60.4%. It thus appears from this data that the black per capita violent crime rate is roughly 2.3 to 2.8 times the rate for the country as a whole, while the white per capita crime rate is roughly 0 0.7 to 0.9 times the rate for the country as a whole. It also appears that the arrest rates for violent crime are roughly comparable to the rates of offending, especially if uh, one takes into account those offenses reported to the police, which is the choice of the victims, not the police department, and the great bulk of such violent crime is intra Ratio. The disparity is even more striking for murder and non negligent uh, manslaughter, which the NCVS doesn't measure uh, since the crime victim cannot respond to the survey and thus relies on the police department reports in the UCR. When the race of the offender was known, 55.9% were black or African American, 41.1% were white, and 3% were of other races yeah so again we already talked about this right again 13 percent of the population and it's even worse because i mean it's, it's not black women it's majority black men so we're talking about what six or seven percent committing probably what half the murders in the country right uh again half the people in the country that are being murdered are black okay even though again only 13 percent of the population whites are 60 percent but yet uh, they only represent uh, 41% of the murderers. I'm just saying, right? These are just facts. These are just basic facts and statistics, man. But when you present this to people, people are going to look at you like you are a flaming racist for simply just saying, look, this is these are just the facts. You can't even have a basic conversation <laughs> about facts and statistics without being called a racist okay a racist you're a racist for simply pointing out hey this is a problem this is happening and that's why nothing's ever done about this bro okay this is why we never see anything done about this is because we can't even acknowledge facts without throwing labels on people and saying they're racist for just saying that look this is the reality of, of this situation right but again you know left-wing loonies are not living in reality they're more concerned about the, the, the victimhood narrative okay they're more concerned about their agenda than actually solving real crimes and calling out issues for what it is okay and mindy hassan here is using this same tired weak argument that the left uses all the time to try to ignore an obvious problem in this country which is black on black crime or the disproportionate amount of crimes being committed by black folks by saying well white people commit crimes against whites at the same rate that blacks commit crimes against other blacks and i'm like yes that's true <laughs> right but as a percentage of the population who is committing more crimes <laughs> right who is committing more crimes as a percentage of the population who is committing more murders okay as a percentage of the population who is more overrepresented Again, they don't want to get into that, right? Because if you get into that, they just deem you as, as a racist for simply going a little bit deeper, right? But he knows that, though. However, again, he has a narrative to push because he's a propagandist. It's just hilarious to see uh, him get fact-checked by Elon Musk's community notes, okay, in, in the rest of Twitter because everybody knows what the truth is, okay? What's also hilarious is to see how Elon Musk has turned around this whole fact-checking thing, which has historically been used against conservatives. And now, again, he's doing a whole lot of fact-checking against the left and the lies that they frequently tell. Again, this is absolutely hilarious. Again, I know some conservatives have, have issues with, you know, these outlets or these big platforms trying to decide what's true and what's not true. I don't really have an issue with fact checks as long as it's been equally used on both sides, right? If you want to call out the lies on both sides, I have no issues with that. It's when it's weaponized against one side, which is what is frequently done or was frequently done up until Elon Musk leveled the playing field. That is what I have an issue with. It's just really nice to see uh, a weapon that has been used by the left, okay, being turned against them uh, when they come out here and tell lies. And I'm telling you, the frequency of the lies from the left is much more than those from the right so 
you have another example of it right here in front of your face okay this guy trying to pretend that this is not a problem and that you are racist for acknowledging reality let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace